software on this computer. Okay, so I am now recording. Um, sorry, everyone, that we're starting so so late. Thanks very much for your patience. Mm -hmm. okay. So, how many people do we have from the pool? Just us? I think it's just you. Oh, Marky has joined. Good. Yeah, I'm here. Excellent. Thank you. So my sincere apologies for my complete ineptitude in running YouTube Live. Thanks very much, Marky, for being the test drive and for being patient. <laughs> it is completely okay, and I understand. <laughs> Thank you. We just got unexpected infrastructure issues, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was also unable uh, to start the uh, Hangouts on air recording, but then yeah, we tried with Mark, we were still unable to run it. So yeah, finally we are 20 minutes late. Right, and uh, my apologies, so, and I think, oh good, hey, and I've shared my camera, so you can now see my face. Okay, good, so, so I propose, let's talk through the things that are on the agenda. Are there, we've got on the agenda open action items as one, a job 11 status check, uh, Google Summer of Code, and YAML on Windows Service Wrapper and Custom War Packager. Are there any things that need to be added to the agenda before we actually start doing the agenda? Oh, well, I think that uh, since uh, the meeting uh, went south a bit, I, so there is no time pressure to have a Custom War Packager demo. So maybe we do it next time when we have uh, more participants on the call. Great. All right. So, so, yeah, with the mobile that and regarding the YAML configuration file, uh, we have uh, Alex on the call. So, yeah, if he joins, uh, I propose to have a discussion. If not, uh, yeah, I'll probably take it offline. Okay. We have made in this for a reason, so why not? Great. Excellent. Good. Um, I was actually prone, Oleg, to say that we we talk, let you talk briefly about Google Summer of Code and how that's been pro proceeding. Marky, were there specific topics you needed to bring to the meeting? Or Jeff, I see that Jeff Pierce has joined us. Are there specific topics you wanted to bring? From my side, no. I'm just more here to answer if there's anything with the Google Summer of Code. Oh, thanks. Great. Okay. And I assume that's probably Jeff's reason for being here as well. So it feels like we should take advantage of this time and let's Let's spend some time on Google Summer of Code. We did have a few open action items. My summary of the action items is nothing further progressed on those action items to propose. Uh, Oleg, anything else you wanted to say on action items? Uh, well, uh, so one uh, unrelated action item I was doing, on, uh, I was working on uh, a community breach stuff. Uh, we will be discussing later today the advocacy and electricity. So it's a way, for example, to have uh, this Windows Service Wrapper project uh, accommodated if you want to uh, proceed with it. Uh, but uh, yeah, regarding uh, the action items we have uh, in the list, well, it's uh, pretty much the same. Uh, so uh, uh, so multi-architecture Docker packaging, uh, I think to do with us. I got feedback from him. Uh, but yeah, basically they need to fix uh, the scripts because it doesn't look to be infrastructure issue, current failure. Um, Great, thank uh, you. Uh, not an infra issue. Oh, to not be an infra Yeah, so uh, the uh, pipeline library works properly, it passes uh, the environment, uh, we have uh, reference jobs which run successfully. But the deployment scripts uh, don't accept uh, credential, so they just got uh, less to do. Uh, uh, so, yeah, I'm not sure what uh, I can do there, but yeah, I just uh, don't have much time to deep dive, though I could probably do that later. Regarding other action items, uh, code signing infrastructure, there is uh, a thread by Olivier. So, yeah, basically, uh, it's one, it's one uh, item above. Great. Yeah, it's uh, for code signing. And uh, regarding Jeff, for the support policy, again, uh, I'm blocked on uh, stakeholders. So, I just want to get someone sign off before I press it in public on that. Yeah, they said that Windows support policy is not an immediate topic for us because, well, it was kind of blurry for 10 years. And well, yeah, I just broke it maybe one month ago, but the rest is fine. Great, 
All right. Yeah. So then I would think let's take this time for Google Summer of Code. I'm going to strike or we're going to ignore any Java 11 status because I've not seen anything that was urgent. Mm -hmm. So oh, let's talk. So, I, and I'm not sure which topics, are, oh, like, are there particular topics on Google Summer of Code that you wanted to be sure we addressed here, or concerns, areas of? Uh, so, regarding Google Summer of Code, uh, yeah, we have one project, uh, which is um, uh, a uh, plugin management uh, CLI tool. Uh, this project uh, is happening on the umbrella of Platform Special Interest Group. Uh, we don't have Natasha on the call today, uh, but yeah, as far as I know, uh, she was moving uh, from one place to another. But yeah, I think that uh, start from the next we'll have a regular uh, date uh, at the platform uh, Great. All right. Any other hot topics then that we need to be sure? In Google Summer of Code, I think no. So yeah, once we get uh, to a prototype, uh, maybe in a, maybe one month or two months, something uh, what would be interesting for this year to consider. Another project which uh, is somewhat related is uh, remoting over Apache Kafka. It's got a options for Kubernetes and likely it will uh, involve uh, enhancements in uh, Helm packaging. But yeah, this project is from uh, the umbrella of Cloud Native uh, Special Interest Group. So yeah, I was unable to get a meeting schedule. So maybe uh, I will consider moving it uh, to Cloud And uh, yeah, what else might be interesting? We have uh, another project about uh, role strategy internet. Obviously, this project per se has nothing to do with platform seek because it's a security engine. But uh, the first uh, coding phase um, targets uh, a performance testing framework for Jenkins. Actually, uh, we already got a first uh, prototype from Adobe. So maybe in a couple of weeks uh, they will be updated. Uh, 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 this pro project can be interesting to seek members who work on performance. And performance. Yeah, so, so you say that a platform testing framework, so we can conceivably use that to compare Java 8 and Java 11 or, or well, various hardware platforms. Uh, theoretically, yes, but uh, well, it's just the uh, Java Micro Advantage uh, Framework, GMH. So it's uh, one of uh, de facto standards in Java world. So the whole idea of the current prototype is to actually have something transparent. So when you have a Jenkins tool and basically a student which wraps uh, 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 the logic and uh, uh, bootstraps Jenkins instance, maybe is applying configuration as code and other such things. So it's yet to be decided, but uh, yeah, basically the functionality is the same. And then uh, you just run in micro benchmarks. Excellent. Thank you. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, it's something uh, to discuss uh, maybe at one of the next meetings. So now I just provide highlights. Okay, so yeah, it's pretty much uh, all uh, for me. Uh, in terms of uh, JSOC, maybe Mark or uh, Jeff or one plus something because they also participate. I don't have anything from the Google Summer Code. I'm just meeting. I'm meeting with the students tonight at uh, nine Pacific to go over the uh, mm -hmm. the GitLab uh, project. Oh, and and see for me that's a well that's a particularly interesting. Thanks, Marky, for leading that. That's or for working with them on that. That's a great hope. Thank you. You're welcome. 
Yes, so there is a team of mentors, uh, Rick, uh, it's a Linux around on GitHub, uh, he basically leads uh, the project. Uh, yeah, plus uh, there is a number of other mentors and uh, yeah, Mark uh, agreed uh, to join the team yesterday uh, because uh, yeah, um, uh, there is already a good uh, progress, for example, uh, GitLab uh, API plugin has been already posted, I believe. Uh, so, yeah, I think that uh, having more interest uh, would definitely help to proceed. So, if anyone is interested in GitLab as source control management system, uh, yeah, you're welcome to join this project. Great, thank you. And I see Alexander, you joined us. Were there any topics that you wanted to be sure that we covered today, Alexander? Uh, yeah, my topic is about uh, the project which was actually dismissed. Hello, everybody. But uh, I have uh, some idea which could, uh, which I continue, which I could continue developing this project, and uh, we could use the results of it like a practice from for my university, if it's possible. I just had a conversation with my uh, dean about this, so it could work out. Yeah. So basically, it's uh, the topic below, Mark, about YAML configuration support. Oh, oh good. Okay, thank yeah. you. All right. Yeah, this, this is uh, this is a, that, that's the topic. Yeah. So if uh, folks on the call are interested, I can briefly show what was implied in this project. Yeah, as Alexander yeah, yeah. said, uh, we were unable uh, to accept this project this year. It doesn't say that uh, the proposal was uh, better because yeah, this year we had uh, a lot of applications. And finally, we had to make many tough choices. Uh, and uh, that's why I'm exploring Bridge, for example. Because yeah, we would uh, be interested to have a way to maybe run more projects later this year. Because yeah, we got a number of uh, really good applications which we would like to have somehow. But yeah, unfortunately, not as a JSOC uh, this year. I so, would love to see it, but well, like if you're willing to you go ahead. Okay, uh, so I can stop screen share when somebody else is doing screen share. See, so I have to stop share and yeah. do you now have permission to share? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Okay, so do you see my screen? Yes. Yeah, I have 35% of uh, my laptop left. Of my battery left, but it should be enough. Yeah, we've so, got about. Uh, yeah. So yeah, we have uh, projects. Uh, uh, so yeah, we had project idea about uh, extending Windows Service Wrapper. It's just in the bottom. Uh, YAML configuration support. Uh, so me and Arnab, your potential mentors. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, basically this project is about uh, extending Windows Service Wrapper. So Windows Service Wrapper is a component used in Jenkins uh, in order to install uh, Jenkins Master and also Jenkins Agents as Windows Services. Um, why do we use Windows Services? Because it improves failover, it improves stability of the system, and it also includes uh, various added value features. Um, for example, a runaway process killer, so that we be able uh, to kill processes uh, which uh, are not uh, killed properly when we use batch. Unfortunately, it happens sometimes. Then there are some additional features like uh, just uh, monitoring integration with system logs and all other things. And uh, yeah, the one of examples of usage of it is actually Windows Slave. Uh, Starter model, so it's a part of Jenkins core. This model uh, installs agents, so effectively, when you connect an agent using uh, Java Web Start or using uh, CLI, you have an option to install it uh, as a Windows service uh, by clicking the button. And uh, it's uh, been handled by this plugin, so there is uh, XML file which is Jenkins slave XML. Yeah, we still haven't renamed everything to agents in this part of Jenkins code base. So you may see that uh, there is some configuration here. For example, uh, yeah, you can configure uh, what you run, which Java version you use, uh, which arguments you pass. So you, you pass a Jenkins agent with uh, standard arguments. 
Um, and then we have some additional logic, for example, auto automatic failover. So when a process uh, fails, we restart it. We have a log rotation enabled by default in the recent versions. And we also have um, 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 automatic agent download. So when you use Windows services and when your master is connected over HTTPS, we do automatic download of new remote end versions and uh, new Windows service wrapper versions because it was one of the issues for Windows agents because before they used to be always outdated. And then there is a runway process killer I was discussing. So yeah, this is a kind of sample configuration. You may see here that actually it's in XML. This configuration is pretty complicated. And one of uh, the ideas was to actually follow the approach of what we do in Jenkins configuration as called plugin uh, and other companies and to add support of YAML. Uh, actually, if you take a look at full configuration, uh, yeah, it's uh, even worse than uh, what we have in default settings because there is a huge number of options like uh, um, environment variable management, uh, various descriptions, automatic start, uh, which delays for services, advanced login, whatever, whatever. So the configuration can be extremely long. We have some samples in the repository, but the idea of the project was to just move everything to YAML, offer tools like, for example, um, uh, just uh, JSON schema or YAML schema, which would allow to verify configs. Right now, there is no access D file for Windows Service Wrapper. So there is no schema which would allow to self document and verify configuration files. And yeah, it would be one of the interesting uh, improvements in Windows API system. Uh, it would also help Windows installers because Windows installers current, I mean, the Jenkins MSI uh, Windows installer. So that uh, Alex Earl is currently working on a new version, but it still uses Windows Service Wrapper under the hood. Um, and uh, yeah, it would be nice to apply some improvements in order to simplify uh, work uh, being done by Alex. Um, and yeah, you can also see that uh, there are some other tweaks, like for example, Puppet Force integration, and uh, yeah, it's like package manager for Puppet, and uh, there are also other implementations which could be in the scope. But yeah, basically what was proposed in the project, firstly to improve configuration, and maybe also to focus on other stories we have uh, in this repository, like better logging uh, and other thing, such things. So yeah, this is uh, the scope of the project we had, and we had a discussion with Alex multiple times uh, before, um, uh, well, as a part of uh, student application period in Google Summer, of course. And uh, yeah, so now, yeah, it's not Google Summer, of course, so we are more flexible in terms of what we could do here. And uh, yeah, Alex, I'm happy to help as a kind of advisor in this project. So yeah, if you are interested to invest your time, I'll do my best uh, to assist you and probably somebody else from a special interest group will be also interested. Because yeah, there is a lot of Windows users in the Jenkins ecosystem. Okay. okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, uh, yeah, I would love to mm -hmm. take part. Just we just need to formally uh, sign the papers at the end of it. Like it, 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 it will be like a practice for my university. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Speaking of that, do you need uh, any formalities from the Jenkins project side? So yeah, as an open source community, we are happy uh, to welcome you. We are happy to happy to provide some assistance. But for example, if you need to do some paperwork from the Jenkins project, that may be quite tricky. So if it's needed, uh, it would be better to know about it in advance. Uh, like uh, as far at, the, at this time, when I discuss with my dean, uh, so the process, process of practice in my university, it's like I will provide the paper uh, which on English language, which states, uh, uh, on what company I will make a practice and they need five copies, five original copies of this, these stamps, which should be stamped uh, and uh, after, uh, and the minimum, uh, the, the minimum length, as far as I know, it will be like uh, eight weeks, uh, so around two months. And at the end of it, it will be like uh, a short, a, a short, uh, paper about uh, practice end, which should also be stamped, as far as I know, in one uh, uh, in one original 
uh, material. Mm. That's 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 uh, the administrative requirements which I got from my university, and by that way I could uh, earn some uh, credits. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, yeah, uh, so paperwork is required uh, before and uh, after the project. Uh, in your company, sorry, in your country, how is it considered as an internship uh, or as practice? Because it, yeah, it, just to make sure whether it's also a financial side. It will be like internship. I will, I will, I could post uh, this paper on Gitter, for example, in whatever place which you would like. Um, uh, it's it's not uh, the private document, so I could post it on Google Docs or somewhere else. Mm -hmm. You could see it uh, and uh, make some comments or whatever. And uh, yes, uh, it's great. Uh, and uh, I don't think I could uh, uh, have uh, the same availability which I stated for Google Summer of Code. I think it will be less because uh, it's a bit uh, different situation. I think. I, if it's okay for you, and uh, I mean, I could spend less, but uh, still around, uh, yes. I don't know, around 20 hours a week or something mm -hmm. like that. Yeah, so for us, if you act as a Jenkins contributor, for us, uh, yeah, if you can spend one hour per week, two hour per week, it's already something helpful to the community, and we will appreciate uh, that. Uh, uh, one thing, uh, yeah, about uh, practice, yeah, I'm not sure what uh, other conditions there. So paperwork is something that I can check uh, because yeah, I can't be exploring community bridge, but yeah, community bridge uh, won't produce uh, these papers as practice. Uh, so yeah, I have an action item. Uh, I'll take a look whether it's something we could do. Um, Okay, I I will post. Uh, I don't know where. I, I I will post the the papers on Google Docs, and you could uh, uh, see and uh, yeah. ask questions. It will. Be, yeah, actually, I could I could do it now. Maybe even yes. Okay. Yeah. So one thing uh, you need to know about. Uh, uh, Jenkins. So Jenkins itself is not a company. So uh, that's uh, why we might have uh, some issues. So oh, okay. Jenkins is uh, is under umbrella of Continuous Delivery Foundation. Continuous Delivery Foundation is under umbrella of Linux Foundation. And the yeah, Linux Foundation is a legal entity. And the yeah, CDF Foundation, Continuous Delivery Foundation is also a legal entity, I believe now. Uh, but uh, yeah, we need to check whether it's possible to do this paperwork. So what I'll do, I will reach out to proper people uh, in order to confirm that uh, it's uh, technically possible. Yeah, I just need to, to to know is it just conditionally yes? If it's okay, if I I mean I don't need it right uh, at this moment or at that moment. If maybe it also could be uh, put at the end of this mm -hmm. practice. Uh, we could call it practice, but whatever. Yep. Uh, so yes, and uh, uh, I I wonder who who else could help me with this project? Uh, okay, Oleg, maybe somebody else. Uh, who is? Uh, uh, where should I raise questions and uh, my uh, progress and uh, mm -hmm. so, something else? So what one, do you think? Uh, yeah, if you do this project, I believe uh, it would be interesting for a platform special interest group because yeah, it's Windows support, and uh, yeah, I think we can keep uh, the same framework. So yeah, we have these meetings every two weeks, uh, okay. or maybe we could have additional meetings to sync up. Uh, yeah, if you do twenty hours per week, probably one uh, meeting per two weeks won't be enough. Okay. Uh, for sync ups, uh, regarding um, all kinds of. Uh, uh, so regarding other mentors, uh, we can uh, do community outreach. So, for example, uh, yeah, if we have, uh, if we confirm that uh, paperwork is something we can technically do, we can uh, contact uh, Windows uh, users uh, in the Jenkins developer mailing list uh, and in the platform okay. mailing list, and yeah, most likely we will be able to find somebody who is also interested. 
and the same here, so uh, Windows Service Wrapper. So yeah, even if it's a part of Jenkins, am I still sharing my screen? Yes, you are. Yeah. So yeah, it's not used only in Jenkins. So maybe by just for some issues here, like let's do it in YAML. Uh, yeah, there are 157 watchers, etc. Uh, yeah, maybe we would be able to find someone uh, from outside the Jenkins community because, well, it, uh, if uh, you want to keep uh, a similar scope as it was proposed in your GSOC application, well, there is some Jenkins part, but yeah, the most of the uh, code is uh, actually available here and it will be available to other projects as well. Yeah, so. Alexander, I think the either the Gitter channel for Platform SIG or the Platform SIG mailing oh, list, yeah. and there, Alex Earl and I are both interested in Windows. Oleg is now a Windows user. He may not be thrilled about being a Windows user, but he is a Windows user. So we have we have yeah. several of us who are on Windows, and are so I'm I'm confident we're happy to help if we can get past the other hurdles, you know, the formalities and any requirements there. We would love to have your contribution. Yeah, right. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, regarding your practice, what is the approximate timeline for that? So, eight weeks during the summer. So, when it usually starts? Uh, it, uh, at the moment, I still have an exam on, on 6th of June. And after that, I will be more or less free. But uh, we could it 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 won't be uh i mean we could sign this paper at the uh, maybe at the later moment but i could start uh, yeah. i could I, I will continue this project now uh, mm -hmm. and uh, spend time in order to uh receive some tangible results uh, at the end of august like uh, google summer of course students mm -hmm. uh so it will be some it will be the, as well some deliverables at the end of it and uh, based on this we could continue to work maybe on the next year but we will see yeah, uh, <laughs> something to discuss. yeah so for us yeah one of the things yeah if you start uh, working before uh in june 6 it's a uh, perfectly fine uh, but yeah currently we cannot guarantee that uh, this paper just is possible and then it will be possible to complete it by this time. So it's something uh, uh, to keep in mind because yeah, if you do it uh, until uh, this paperwork is confirmed that uh, it's in a kind of non-binding state uh, because yeah, uh, yeah, we need uh, to explore the options and right now I can say for sure that we can do that. Okay, um, okay. Maybe we will sort things out yeah. in other way. In, uh, it will be some... Yeah, so the best thing uh, that yeah, we have uh, the next ASIC meeting uh, in two weeks, so it's approximately around June 6, I guess. Okay. So, yeah, maybe we could sync up there. I have an action item. Uh, so, once you provide the document samples, I will reach out uh, to proper contacts. And uh, yeah, I will also see whether we can find uh, mentors because, yeah, for me, yeah, I'm personally interested in this project. Uh, but yeah, I'm already heavily invested in uh, JSOC and uh, yeah, I have limited uh, time. So yeah, yeah, I, I will try to find uh, more people uh, and yeah, if I'm successful, then yeah, we should be able to do that. I just posted the documents on Gitter. Uh, okay, cool. Yes. Okay. Yeah, that's cool, thank you. Uh, I need permission, but yeah. Uh, so yeah, if you give oh, okay. permission uh, to me, Mark. Ah, oh, okay, uh, okay. Just a second. Oh, mm -hmm. I don't, I don't make a sh share to link. Okay, just a second. Uh, yeah. So yeah, uh, if you are not comfortable to share them with everybody, it's still something. No, it's okay, okay, okay. I think. Wait a second. It's not this group, but okay. Mm -hmm. I think it will be different link. Yes, this one. Mm -hmm. It should it should have access to read as far as I yes, as far as I understand. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, yeah, then we will check it after the meeting. Current discussion is not yet on board. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And uh, just for, just once one thing which which I should specially mention, uh, it in this document it stated that uh, the company should pay, but uh, we we do we should not uh, treat it like that. It uh, I mean um, it's okay for. Uh, for not for not to do in this as far as i understand yeah, well it might be a problem uh, for us because if uh, the document states so we will definitely need to run it uh, through against delivery foundation legal advice because yeah it might be not a problem for you personally but uh, yeah, it ah, okay. might be still a problem for the foundation ah okay okay uh, okay uh, okay yeah, so this is something we will verify. But yeah, yeah. Uh, if 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 uh, if I need to raise additional questions with my uh, university administration, please let me know as soon as mm -hmm. possible. I will do it. Uh, yes. Yeah, right. Mm. Yeah, so as a part of community bridge, we are technically uh, able uh, to do paid internships. Uh, but uh, yeah, in such case, we would also need to confirm the budget. We will need to justify these uh, budgets. We would need to confirm it at uh, the governance meeting and other such things. For example, we do paid internship with outreach program, uh, but uh, oh. yeah, uh, we will, uh, yeah, if it implies payments, it also complicates the things even more. So I believe that if uh, there is a uh, financial side, if there is a uh, legal review required, we definitely won't be able to provide a response uh, by June 6 or so. But no, I mean, yeah. okay, okay. I mean, I don't need it, but uh, yeah. uh, and but as as far as I know, at this moment, it's it's not obligatory. But I will check. I will double check this mm -hmm. with with my administration. The first question about this, uh, because for me, it's it, it's more important to make progress on this project mm -hmm. yeah and yes yeah, so community site is something we definitely welcome you uh, we will uh, try to find advisors etc yeah, regarding okay. formality site uh, for practice uh, yeah we need to, to review whether it's possible okay 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 yes thank you very much okay yeah, thank you too, and thanks uh, for the interest. So, yep, yeah, if something doesn't work out, yeah, we definitely have a Google Summer for next year. So, whatever yeah. you explore now can contribute towards uh, the future proposal. Uh, but, yep, yeah, let's see what, uh, whether we can do something earlier. Excellent. Thank you. Thanks very much, Alexander. Thank you, Oleg. Yeah. I think we have gone past our typical time. I'm prone to say let's call an end to the meeting for now and meet again in two weeks. Any other topics we need to cover before we close the meeting? Not from my side. So yeah, we had custom work package on the agenda. But yeah, okay. again, uh, let's do it uh, next time when we have more participants. Right. Well, and, and we may switch to using Zoom or we may figure out, have me learn how to do YouTube Live correctly. One way or the other, I've got two more weeks to fix my mistakes. Thanks. Well, it wasn't your fault. Uh, it doesn't work for me either right now. And it was working one hour ago. So. <laughs> okay. Great. Yeah. Okay. Right. So, yeah, thanks, everybody. And uh, thanks uh, to.